hanging out with B&B &B and cutting clean. All right, champ. I got a question for you. This is off the top. Go ahead. What advice do you have for the younger guys or anybody that, that wants to start their business? And they need to start now because it's going to be springtime. It's the optimal time to start their business. So what kind of tips do you have? Start today. Start now. Do start something now. today. Do something today. No matter if it's trying to get a logo, even though you don't know nothing about business, start there. Create something. Eventually, the ball will just roll. You'll figure a way to then make sales. Just start. You heard it, man. Totally agree. I like that. Just go knock on doors. Do so try, try to get your first five clients. Go knocking on doors. Go to your neighbors. Go to your friends. Go to your family. Because even when I make videos, and that's why I get Chant and I get Andy in here. Because even when I make videos on it, I still get messages, people. Blake, I know you you, you made a video, but my situation's different. It's probably not. Like, there's houses and people everywhere. Right. Here's the thing. Even if you don't have a mower or a weed whacker, weed whatever trimmer, don't have any equipment, just go out there, knock on the doors, get them clients, then figure a way to get the equipment. That's, that's it, man. There you go. That way that you've got money, you know you're gonna have money coming in, then get the equipment. There you go. And like, like if you had like an old neighbor, like an older woman or anybody, and they have a push mower, tell them, hey, I, you know, I want to start this. Can I use your push mower? I'll do your lawn for free. And can I borrow your mower? That'd be perfect. So you got to find out ways to get it done. I mean, that's part of being an entrepreneur is if there's a problem, you have to fix it. Andy, do you have a tip? My tip is, no matter what stage you are, whether you're just learning or you're already in business for yourself, research as much as possible. Become the best at whatever you're doing. They're no matter probably what it doing is. something good by already looking at this video, so you're already intrigued. Right. So you might as well start. Because when I started my business, I knew how to cut grass, but I learned and researched to figure out how to do it better and to the best of my ability. Because you got to remember, when you are knocking on these people's doors as a professional, as what anyone would call them in our business. They're expecting you to be a professional. You know, they want that person that they can rely on, that has the information, that has the resources. So educate yourself. You don't have to go to college or school. I'm not saying you shouldn't or should, but the information's out there, whether it's Google, whether it's YouTube, information's at your fingertips. So if you're ready to jump into it and start a business, you are able to at this moment. It's there for you. And I think Andy's on that professional thing you're gonna get so many different guys that are telling you different things. Oh yeah. The two things, the two biggest steps is your quality of work. That's your number one goal. The number one goal if somebody wants their grass cut is to get the grass cut and get it done correctly. They don't want a bunch of spots missed. They don't want it torn up. They just want it done correctly. And is also your personality, how you approach and talk to them. That's really it. It doesn't like, can mean I mean, it can be a million things, but like, if you think it means you have to have a logo on your hat and you have to have your trucks wrapped and you have to have a website and you have to do, dude, that, that's so secondary compared to the quality of work you do and your integrity you have with your clients. So, you guys have anything else? I think that's a good start. Not everybody is confident in what they do, you know, in, in the first place. Like, you're starting out a business. Mm -hmm. just, just like for me, when I went knocking on doors, man, I was scared as crap to go knock on doors. But the, conf the confidence level will start, start, slowly start to build as you go. You build that confidence. And Especially the minute you get that first person right. that says, yes, you're yes, like, yeah. okay, this is gonna work out for what I'm doing. And listen, to do. you're gonna have to just, it's gonna be scary at first. Right. You're just gonna have to do it. You do it. Yep. Cause you're gonna I mean, get a hundred people telling you no, you but you're gonna yep. get one or two you're telling you yes, two, and that's yeah. the way to go. Yeah. That's what I did around my block. I went around knocking, what, 12, 13 houses, got one out of that. Mm -hmm. And if they say, hey, I already have somebody, well, you give them your card. You don't say, oh, you know, and stomp off. You give them your card and say, hey, even if they, if they, for some reason, go out of business, they stop doing your lawn, or just you need anything, just give me a call, and I'll, I'll take care of you. And that's it. And then leave it. Say, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. And that's it. And, I mean, even when people watch my videos, I'm like, 
thank you for watching. Like, I appreciate it. I put time into that. You put time into me, and I appreciate it. So, I think those are some good tips to start off. So, hope you guys have a great day. Hope that video helped. And, uh, yeah, go subscribe to Chant and Andy. And uh, maybe subscribe to me if you want to. So, <laughs> hope to see you guys later. See you next time.